Oh, after a lot of years of pastoring, decades of pastorings, we, we spend most of our time now caring for pastors, and we're here today to talk about not just being restored by Jesus, but also how Jesus can store up in us capacity to love people and to serve him well. So we're going to talk a little bit about physical fitness and some of our story and uh, what we've learned along the way that helps us. Yeah, Pat always talks about turning the dial, and it's funny because as soon as we said yes to this, his dial got really turned up. And those of you who know him, that was a joke, so I need you all to laugh a little bit, okay? Okay, so that's why he looks so good today. All right, go. Hey, it was almost as good as the Hawaii convention. I mean, there that was good motivation it. too, you know? Right. Pride, whatever, yeah. vanity, I'll use yeah, it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> whatever works, right? Okay. So realistically, how many of us know we could turn that dial on physical fitness and overall general health? I want to see your hands. Seriously, come on. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Our job is done, right? I mean, yeah, let's go. We're done. <laughs> really quick talk. Okay, great. We probably should share a few of the things Jesus has been teaching us because we haven't always had the dial in the right spot. Sometimes it's kind of in the one. Sometimes it's over in the ten. Yeah. Why don't you share a little bit uh, of what's been helping us? Really, it's, it's been about combining uh, the physical side really to emotional and spiritual health. Yeah. It, we're finding that when we are in love with each other and we're connecting exercise to that and we're connecting it to loving God, that that's really how we start to be more sustainable. Yeah, that's exactly right. So one of the things that works for us is Sabbath. How many yeah. of you are doing Sabbath? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so we most of the Sabbath. time, most of the time, we're not great at Sabbaths as pastors, are we? But I kind of think it's one of the non-negotiables in the top ten, right? Like you used to die if you didn't do it. So we're just dying different ways now. Yeah, so maybe tell them a little bit about our Sabbath. Okay, so when we have a Sabbath... One We're the, weird, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we but, are yeah, weird, so. so no, it's not going to work for everyone. But for us, we always connect with the Father, right? It's not yeah. Sabbath if we don't start there. I don't know if I should say this, but some people have said it should not be a bastard Sabbath. Yeah, right. One without the Father. Right. So we try to do that. We're Netflixing, whatever. Okay, you're not in trouble. It's okay. So the second way we really make sure we connect is with each other. Yeah, you know... Uh, <laughs> we, we were in Israel a couple of years ago, and we stayed in the home of a rabbi, a Jewish rabbi, and uh, we started talking about Sabbath, and he said, you know, uh, we think about it, it's not truly a Jewish Sabbath unless there's good sex on the Sabbath day. Right? We go to Israel, that's what he gets from the trip. Be I, sure and have good sex, right? Okay, we'll take I it. I bring that one up. There on a weekly go. basis. Right, on a weekly basis. So connection with God, connection with each other, whatever that looks like for you guys, okay? <laughs> All right. And the third one is that for us, we need some fresh input. We need some emotional, healthy spirituality. I love when we're that. listening to Pete Scazzaro. On a, right. We listen to one of his books while we're riding our bicycle yep. or, or while we're in the weight room or whatever mm -hmm. we go do together. Yeah. And, and then we're able to talk about it after. That's so exactly great. right. Because you guys, one of the really main things that we lots of times leave out is movement. Because brain research has proven that if you are listening to something while you're moving, it sticks better. And I need that help in my brain. That's right. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. You do. So we're going to move, right? Okay, so one of the things that flows from our time together, first with God, with each other, moving, is honest conversation. That's a huge piece of emotional, spiritual, physical health. There's been so many moments of uh, revelation. Like we were going down Loveland Pass, which is 12,000 feet up. And uh, she went a little ahead, so I on could go our really bikes. fast We're on, on our bicycle. Bikes. Yes. Okay. And my, uh, I lost my phone along the way down, and then I was trying to catch her, and I lost her. And 
I started feeling really angry and I realized later that I had some major abandonment issues. And uh, we were able to process those. And because we were doing this exercise together yeah. and having conversation together, it was a place of healing. Yeah. So there's just more wholeness to it all. That's right. So we pick some time that day to have some of those hard but good conversations. One of the other things we do is every year for my birthday, which is Christmas Eve, my husband picks out a monastery somewhere, and we spend three days there in January, hearing God, being quiet, connecting. It's kind of like a Sabbath honeymoon. Yeah, it is a Sabbath like, honeymoon, <laughs> right? We do all the same things, you know, yeah. uh, that we do on Sabbath, but we just stretch them over several days. That's exactly yeah. right. So Hiking, yes. Uh -huh. All of them. Yeah. And a lot of that, right? We do a lot of that, right? Okay. They knew what we were thinking uh, yeah, about. Yeah, that's right? exactly <laughs> right. So... All right, so we are 18 seconds. We are going to finish this. Yes, what? So sometimes Go. we even ride our bikes to church. We do. Uh, one Sunday, we were going to a new church. I was, we were going to be the interim pastors at a church in crisis. We don't know these people. And, uh, we're riding our bikes We're riding to our church. bikes, and my shirt was getting sweaty because we were trying to get the stress out. It was a very crisis situation. And I throw my shirt in her basket. We get to the church, so I'm bareback. We're about a, 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 a block away, and I said, where's my shirt? And we realized it had blown out of the basket. So here I am. I'm That's thinking, right. did she shave my back lately? I don't know. You know, am I going to be preaching right. without a shirt on? And we have had some great adventures. Thankfully, so they had a clothing we ministry. Want, yeah, clothing <laughs> ministry. That's right. Thank you, Pastor Doug. Right back there. So, all right. So here we go. I'm just going to ask the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, do what you want in us. Show us how to turn the dial connecting with you, with each other, with good friends, good food, exercise. Lord, just make us healthy for the long haul. In yes. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you.